So, Natalie and John, here we are. We're in the hallway of the Equinox, uh, top floor. As you can see, the uh, nine unit, anything that ends with a nine, it's on the far left side of the building. And there's two center units, the 10, the 11, and we're going into the 170-12, which is the corner unit closest to the mountain. As you walk in, ceramic floors, alarm system. The property is very clean. Um, to the right side, you go over to the sleeping quarters. And then if you go over to the left, you go down this corridor uh, towards the living areas, hardwood floors, which are in very good shape. Um, the decor, I would say, is a little bit dated, but it's in very, very good shape. You can tell it's been well taken care of. Um, as we go into the living room, nice and bright, vaulted ceilings. Corner fireplace. Start to see the view. We're well above all the trees here, so there's no issues with views being blocked at all. If I sit down on the on the sofa, look towards the fireplace, look back out down the lake, as you can see the views are perfect. Sun would actually set right there, um, right in the middle of our view, so perfectly oriented. There's actually a window behind this big uh, behemoth of a TV racking system, which I would probably want to remove and get more light into here. Looking back towards the kitchen, again, vaulted ceilings make a huge difference. A little crack there. Yeah. Living area. When you're in the dining room, the nice thing about the 170 building is there's nobody uh, to this side. So just uh, the mountain. You can see in a distance the gondola, which is the gondola that links the south side to the Versailles Soleil. Down below, that's the Equinox townhouses. Um, we're closer to the pool than the 172. The pool is pretty much right down there, below those townhouses. Into the deck. There's actually snow on the top of the mountain this morning. Here's our view, panoramic. Nobody to our right, so total privacy on your balcony. Catherine are over in the refuge. The sun right now uh, is right up about there behind the clouds at 11 o'clock. By noon, the sun is coming in on this side, and all afternoon, and then sun sets straight ahead. Balcony over there is the second balcony of the property. It's a pocket door to the one of the guest bedrooms. A couple of wine fridges. This door actually shuts. Original countertops, but everything's nice and clean. Stainless steel appliances, little wall mounted TV there. Cabinetry is in great shape. I'm going to walk over to where the bedrooms are.
bathroom number one, small but efficient. Many people have converted this bath into a glass shower. Bedroom number one, it's a queen side bed. Again, we've got probably 10 foot ceilings here, more than that, 11 or 12 foot ceilings. The view at the back, just of the rock face, nice and private. Proper's in great shape, actually. Corridor towards the master bedroom. Furniture's a little oversized, but. Entrance. And this is a little hallway with a his and hers closets on each side going towards the ensuite bathroom with a separate shower. Radiant ceramic uh, flooring, his and hers sink, jacuzzi tub, private out to the back again to that rock wall. just tuck behind the door. One more bedroom to see. This is the bedroom, that's the door that I shut earlier that goes towards the kitchen. This actually goes out to the shared balcony on the side, two single beds, nice big closet. Apologize in advance for my cinematography. Now we're out on the second balcony. That's the door towards the master bedroom. Back out on this balcony. Again, sweeping views down the lake. Very private. And close that. Open the sliding door. We're back in the living room. There you have it.